It's Sundance 2011, and I'm sitting down with Nathan Barr. You are the composer of The Ledge. The Ledge. Now, congratulations. I hear there's some good news. We'll get to that in a minute. How did the premiere go? This is your first time at Sundance. It is my first time at Sundance, and uh, the premiere was on Friday, and it was really wonderful. Um, this is a, a perfect festival for, for this film. Um, it's... it's um, it's a, it's a drama, it's pretty dark, um, deals with a lot of complicated issues, but in a, in a really wonderful way. So I think people yeah, in the festival really responded to it. Mm. Now what is the good news since uh, it has premiered? Uh, the good news is uh, it sold to IFC uh, two days ago. So um, it's one of, I guess, the, the few that actually got picked up, which is very exciting. Congratulations, that's really amazing. And that it's so fun to hear people have wonderful success at Sundance because that's what you come here for, mm -hmm. to get the exposure and to get the word out. So that's amazing, congratulations. Thank you. And you're also a composer for True Blood. Yes, yeah, True Blood um, and um, the reason, I mean, The Ledge is uh, such a great film for a composer. Um, it's just uh, a really wonderful vehicle. It's dramatic music, and obviously the better the film does, the more my music gets out there, and that's, that's sort of the ultimate goal. So. Now, what are your plans for Sundance with, you know, this, this celebratory vibe you've got going? You're just arriving today. You've got a couple more days. Do right. you plan to get out and party, or are you going to just network? What do you want to do? Uh, I think a little bit of both. I'll definitely get out and party there. I hear there are parties, like, around the clock, nonstop. There so. are. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be doing that and, um, and just soaking up the beauty around me. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful town. Now, have you been to Utah before? I have never been to Utah before. It's my mm. first time ever. Welcome. So, thank you very much. So, you've probably seen the airport in Park City at this point. Uh, yeah, that would be about it. Yeah, okay, there's, yeah, I uh, trust me, there's a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the film 127 Hours? I loved it. It's yes. an amazing film, yeah. Did you know that was filmed entirely here? I actually did know that. I went and saw a screening with Danny Boyle, and he spoke uh, very highly of his experience here in Utah. Yes, yes. Now, have, if you were given the chance, you can compose anywhere, but if you were given the chance to do something like a, a project like 127 mm -hmm. Hours in Utah, would you come and do that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think for as a composer, you look for... Uh, inspiration around you and it's just so beautiful here so it'd be an ideal place to come and write music now what's next for you with this uh, phenomenal you know the phenomenal good news you have about the ledge what do you plan to do when you head home to LA uh, just celebrate a bit more with the director Matthew Chapman and uh, I've got a couple other projects that are coming right up in season four of True Blood so that'll keep me busy Absolutely. Well, it's so nice to meet you, and it's it's fun to hear about people having success at Sundance because um, the, a lot of people come, and you know, the, getting their film in the festival is one thing, but to have anything beyond that is certainly exciting. So, congratulations! Thank to you so you. much. Nice Thank talking you. to you. Thank you. You too. Thanks. My pleasure. All right, I'm Brenda Upright with Film Utah Magazine. Thanks for watching.